Uh, my name is Ken Kilgore. I'm currently employed at Johnson & Johnson in their Janssen Pharmaceutical Division, um, mainly doing research and discovery work. And the way that we found out was my father was diagnosed with a very aggressive form of T-cell lymphoma. And after doing some research, uh, we sent him to a GI person who diagnosed him with celiac disease your immune system constantly being stimulated over and over again throughout the years in the case of my father was that it, it ultimately resulted in the, this form of aggressive cancer and, and ultimately um, he did pass away from that about just a little over a year after he was initially diagnosed with the disease. We actually went and, and talked to some physicians there and, and decided to get the, the entire family tested because of this the strong genetic component with celiac and it was decided that not only would I get tested and, and my sister, my other sibling, but our other kids or our kids as well. And when all was said and done after all the testing, I came out uh, as being positive. Um, my sister was negative but her two sons were positive and one of my daughters was also um, strongly positive and another who was somewhat borderline. So what was really interesting about that was that's 2003, probably about eight years later, nine years later, so fairly recently, my mother was diagnosed as well. So I had actually both parents um, diagnosed with celiac at, at different times. So it's, it's obviously had a major impact on, on my life. I lost my best friend to it, but I also consider with my father's passing that, that he was the real, um, the real hero in this whole story because without, without his sacrifice I wouldn't have been diagnosed and, and my, my child and a um, number of my nephews. We just would not have known uh, about this until much later and, and who knows, it may have been too late for us by that time as well. We, we've actually had issues, I think, where our difficulties have, have laid really is not so much with our media family, so um, my sister and her children and, and myself and my children. It's, it's been more of the extended family that we've had very difficult time uh, getting tested or convincing to get tested. And I think a lot of it is confusion on what celiac disease really is, um, the fact that the fact that it couldn't, it couldn't happen to me. I think a, a couple of messages. One is really the, the, the ends justify the means. To get tested, to find out definitively whether you have the disease or not is, is easy. Um, very straightforward. I think that people who, who just ignore the situation and pretend it doesn't exist is, is, is playing a very, very uh, dangerous game. So, and considering the ease of diagnosis, um, in essence, why not? I think the, the other thing that I would stress um, to people is you really also need to be well versed on the disease itself and to know what to look for and to be able to communicate with your, with your doctor. 